Hey YouTube, so in this video I wanted to go over the IRS form W8ECI. Um, so I want to go over kind of under what circumstances you're going to need this. So who would have to fill this form out and when you would likely get a request from a withholding agent to complete it. So in this example we have a W8ECI here and the company that's completing this Online Product Sales Limited, it's a UK corporation. And so UK um, corporation here, online product sales, sells inventory to US customers. And so they have an office in the US at this Miami fake address. Um, they store the inventory there, they sell it to US customers. So why do they need to fill this W8 ECI out? The W8 ECI is provided to a withholding agent when they think that your business is one, it's engaged in U.S. trader business, and two, it has U.S. source income that's effectively connected with a U.S. trader business. If you meet both of those qualifications, then you have U.S. source effectively connected income, you have to file a tax return and pay taxes on it. So at the end of the year, this company um, is going to need to file a Form 1120F tax return, report its U.S. source income, and um, paying the taxes that they owe on the net profits, right? So part one is pretty straightforward. It's just the name of the company, where it's incorporated, um, the type of the entity down here, you would click whatever is the appropriate entity type. So this is a corporate entity. Um, if you're an individual person, you'd have your name there and you can hit individual um, partnership, of course, if that's what's applicable. But in this case, we have a limited company that's a corporation under UK law. So we do corporation. The permanent address is the address in the foreign country, right? So where is their office in the foreign country? These guys are based out of London. And then what is their business address in the US? So they have this office in Miami where they sell the products. Um, so they enter their US address and then they have obviously a US taxpayer ID number. So if you're a foreign company and you have any kind of US source effectively connected income, you need to file a tax return you need a US EIM, okay? So you cannot file a tax return every year unless you have an EIN. The IRS will not accept it. So the first step for companies like this is to get an employer identification number, okay? So you enter the EIN there. If this was for an individual, they could click SSN or ITIN and enter their ITIN. Um, but in this case, it's a company, so we have the EIN. Foreign taxpayer ID number, enter whatever your taxpayer ID equivalent is in the country where you're set up. Um, so whatever the country's kind of standard is for a, a taxpayer ID number there, enter that. And then in, in line 11 here, we want to enter exactly why it is we think we have US source ECI and why we are providing this form, okay? So in this example, like I said, they're selling inventory in the US. So we've indicated here the company generates income from the sale of inventory products that are physically located within the US. Under section 861A6, income from the sale of inventory purchased outside the US and sold inside the US under the quote, title passage test makes the income US source income. Now, um, just one caveat here. Having U.S. source income from the sale of inventory property does not necessarily mean you have effectively connected income. In order to have ECI, you have to have a U.S. trader business and U.S. source income that's connected with that U.S. trader business. So a lot of uh, businesses watching this, you might be thinking, oh, well, I have U.S. source income um, from the sale of services or inventory products or something like that. But do I actually have to fill this form out? Do I owe tax? And the answer isn't always yes, right? There are a lot of businesses that have U.S. source income, but they're not engaged in U.S. trader business, so they don't have U.S. source ECI. If that's you, then this is not the form that you should be filling out. But in this example, this company does have that office, and so they do have U.S. source income that's effectively connected with a U.S. trader business. Um, and so part two here is just a certification, right? So it's to be signed by an officer of the company, put their name down there, date it, and then you can go ahead and print this off and to provide it to whomever requested the um, W-8 ICI form. 
Okay, so that covers it for this form. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. I will link to another video I have where I actually go into more depth and detail about what is US source ECI when you have a US trader business. Um, but you know, for purposes of this example, we're gonna assume that that was already the case. But I will have a video that covers uh, that issue in more depth. So thank you for watching. Uh, please leave a, a like on the video, very much appreciate it. And then of course, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Uh, I continue to post a lot of um, information like this that helps U.S. and both non-U.S. entrepreneurs kind of navigate these uh, murky tax waters. So thank you so much and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.